Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and today I'm going to test press number 50, which is on its way to Texas. And I might point out that press number 50 is the unusual Purple Heart press. I'm going to be printing from a copper plate of an artist trading card. But before I get started, I'd like to show some features of the press itself. It comes with a box, and inside the box are the Certificate of Authenticity, the new set of blankets, a little blank test plate, the little book that goes with the press itself, it's kind of its birth certificate, two postcards, business cards, the DVD one minute printmaker, it has six lessons on it, about a minute long, the Allen wrench which is for the occasional tightening of the wheel on the press, and the user's manual, and a postcard from the imaginary place where half wood presses are built. And that fits inside the press. I have an ink already put out. Daniel Smith, Vine Black. I've already dampened some paper. And I have it right here underneath the ink slab. I soaked it in water for about 15 minutes. And then I blotted it dry. I use oil-based inks. You can use water-based inks for Intaglio, but I don't use them. These are another brand. This is called Charbonnel. And many times I'll use the Charbonnel Black, Charbonnel Sanguine, and another several colors that I don't have for today. Finally, the last little piece of equipment is a hot plate, which is an iron that I've built into a box, and that serves me as a nice portable hot plate. Now my ink is worked up sufficiently and I can apply it to the to the plate. Just touch on a little bit of ink and then squeegee it. I have a rubber squeegee I like. You could also use a piece of chipboard or mat board for spreading out the ink. Intaglio printing means that the etched uh, lines and tones have been bitten into the plate so they're below the uh, new surface or underneath the original surface of the plate and uh, the ink is pressed into those lines and the surface ink, the smooth parts of the plate, are wiped off leaving ink trapped in those textures and lines. That's the whole principle. And we use an intaglio press and a soft piece of dampened paper to pull those lines of ink out. This, by the way, is called tarlatan and uh, it's a popular material for wiping the plate. Sometimes it's a good idea to roll the ink out this way to make it more uniform because when you squeegee the ink out or spread it out with a chipboard or something and even after you start wiping it with tarlatan it can be streaky and by roll it, by brayering it out it ensures that it's going to be more uniform another technique I like is called the paper wipe after I've gone over it with tarlatan a little bit to go over it with a, t a page on a telephone book. One thing you need to know about paper wipe is that you have to you have to start using the paper wipe when most of the ink is already off the plate. Otherwise, the paper just sort of sticks to the ink, and you can't move the paper around. It helps too that I'm using rubber gloves or nitrile examination gloves, which is what I'm using, 
and the rubber surface of the gloves helps to move the paper around and keeps it from sticking to that sticky surface of the plate. And traditionally, we use what's hand, called a hand wipe without the rubber glove and a little tiny bit of talcum powder. I'm using baby powder for my talcum powder, just a tiny bit. And that dry, soft heel of your hand works very well for getting the last vestiges of ink, the last tone of ink off the plate so that you get a nice contrast uh, between the non-printing and the printing areas. If you don't do the hand wipe, you can be leaving more tone on the plate, which might be what you want. But traditionally, uh, we use a hand wipe to get the last thin tone of ink off the plate for the most contrast. The edges are beveled very slightly with a uh, file. Loading the press is a matter, first of all, almost forgot, tighten it down all the way to, the, to where it touches the bed so that you're sure that the rollers are even. And then you count backward, one, two, three, four, Five. I'm not counting backward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve half turns or six full turns is usually the right amount uh, to get the blanket to fit under the roller. And then turn it back down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get very tight about there. And from previous experience, I know that's probably about right, the right amount of pressure. I like to warm the plate before I print it. Oil-based inks do print better when they're warm. So I like to warm the plate. You get the copper plate just hot enough that it's not going to hurt you to handle it, and that is sufficient and then my paper. I have sheets of newsprint along with the rag paper just as a way to keep them separate. And for the benefit of the camera, the video camera, I turned the press around so that she could see the first impression. I have a practice of my own that I invented called the moment number, when I like to make a note as to exactly when the print was printed. So this is October 28th, and it's uh, 12.02, if I write that down. 09102812020 And there's the finished proof. And that completes the test of this press number 50 on its way to Amarillo, Texas now. Well, I'm Bill Ritchie and I thank you for watching.